This is the setup of the IO LCD and Arduino. As you can see, it only uses two wires, which I'm damn proud of. But yeah, this is what the uh, Python side of uh, of the um, Python side of the uh, program looks like. It imports serial and it imports socket. Makes a serial connection. It connects to the server of IRC. Here it's called connect IRC. And then what I do then is I receive I receive everything that's transmitted from the server. And then also the server can transmit nothing it's really weird and it sends it as a uh, none what happens next is that I create a little parser because I had a little trouble with uh, people got IPv6 and IPv4 so I fixed that with this little parser and then I print to the terminal What's left, and I print to the Arduino over serial the data I've parsed and I need to send because, or else, you'll get all, everything from the protocol onto your LCD screen and such. So, that's the Python side. I'll uh, post a uh, link to the project page next. I've used my own um, LCD library, which is called IOLCD, and which makes an instance of LCD so that so that it looks like so it's uh, syntax compatible with your normal LCD uh, syntax. From liquid crystal library. Uh, the only problem was that I could have built line wrap into my uh, library, but I didn't because some people just want to mess around with the lines, lines themselves, lines that move from left to right independently of each other, which is cool. And what I've um, I'll put the link to the project page of IOLCD also, so don't worry. Alright, start serial. If it cannot connect to the MCP IO expander at address 020, if it connects, it says it works, else it doesn't. But a little uh, serial debugging there, so since uh, I square C. The two wires switched, it won't work. LCD.begin starts the LCD, LCD.clear clears the LCD in case there is something on it. Then we're gonna look if a uh, serial is available and then we're gonna wait a, a second. It's probably way too much, but I'm gonna wait anyway. Uh, and probably the stuff you sent from. Uh, from a uh, from the Python script to the Arduino probably is too big in certain cases, so we'll upload the buffer and place the end of the sentence somewhere in the middle of the screen, which is a known bug now, but this will be fixed, I hope. Then we're gonna look if uh, serial is available. If it is then we're going to enter a little loop and all it does is it guards if there is still um, data to be received as long as there's data to be received it will for every byte every letter I'll uh, give a little demo of uh, scripts the uh, Python script, which is really easy to use. I've made it in such a way that uh, 
is I made it in such a way that you could uh, enter your serial port in my case it is probably TDYACM0 and that you could enter the bulk rates and, and in this case it's 11,500 oh wait 115,200 bulk and it's gonna ask you to enter what channel so we're gonna look at what channel is uh, being chatted on Mm, let me see. Um, I'll create my own channel. So, this is my test channel. And it will connect to IRC. As you can see, the protocol. Uh, you can see the protocol at work, and I'm printing this stuff to the terminal just for debugging purposes. And what I had noticed is that uh, this stuff really works different for IPv4 and IPv6. If you're looking for stuff, if you're looking for messages. And now the cursor is here. And if I'm going to type something in that channel, like hello, it will display. It says displayed hello, <laughs> which will be displayed here. So the things you type into IRC, like T E. They will be displayed on the LCD. So, I'll uh, post a few links to the project of the uh, IO LCD and the, the uh, to the uh, piece of code that makes this all work. Pretty uh, fun. Although there are still a few uh, things that. Um, I've got to fix like like um sometimes if you type a real really really big sentence hello there this is a RC demo on my LCD or the Arduino thingy